Hello everybody, welcome to Summerween day one. Just one, just one. Hi, hello, how are you doing? Let's talk about the TBR, what I've already read starting at midnight last night, and what our plans are for the day, and then we're gonna get back to the part that I literally am interrupting myself during because I started rambling about organizing and planners and stuff and so if you care about that great it'll be coming up if you don't even better you can just skip it like go to the b-roll that's that's where you want to be so tbr wise um for my paranormal actually I don't even know what my prompts are that I'm fulfilling each of these with I just know that they do all fulfill something I'll get to it later listen it's in my journal but my journal is buried underneath all of this so we'll get there but uh what i have is first grave on the right this is the first in a cozy mystery series mimi sent me this and i am very excited to start on it i posted on instagram and when i did i had about six people swipe up and say oh my god you're gonna love this book so that is very exciting and i wanted a cozy mystery for summerween because i i've been obsessed with them lately and i feel like they're such a fun time and a good break from something so that's what we're doing um and then we have a exorcism so i have the burning girls this one i hadn't planned on reading until one of my friends brought up that they found i think the whole thing is they find an exorcism kit or something along those lines which sounds amazing and terrifying and i just saw the conjuring three which was okay it wasn't I like the Conjuring movies for what they are. I don't actually intend to be scared by them because I'll stand by the fact that Insidious is the only movie that freaks me out because of that dining room table and then you see that red guy. Whew, not for me. I mean for me because I watch it and I rewatch it all the time, but the new Conjuring movies aren't as... Two and three are just not as scary as the first one was, but it was enjoyable. It was a good time. I think this will be a good time so that's why i picked that one up and then this one's kind of bold i didn't realize it's almost 500 pages but we'll see we'll see it's a week-long readathon so maybe we'll do it but it is firekeeper's daughter i don't know anything about this other than someone said it was a thriller so that's exciting to me i got it from book of the month which i get so many books from book of the month like not in a bad way but just in a why do I keep buying these way? And it's because I need them. I need them all. So I'm excited for that. I just downloaded the audiobook for that. So I'm going to listen to that while I keep going through the mess that is my life right now. But anyways, what I started last night was the final girl support group, which is Grady Hendrick's new book coming out. Y'all, I'm already in love with this. I'm already in love with this. Basically, what we have is a, it's on, it's kind of set up like an AA meeting in a church on like the first Thursday of every month or something. And it's all these girls in the country that were the final girls in their like slasher movie thing. I have a thing that I'm already so excited about, but I'm gonna leave it to the end of this clip. Basically, I am picturing how uh in halloween like the latest halloween how jamie lee curtis's character was totally like off the grid uh, like a doomsday prepper kind of thing that's how the main character comes across and so i think that they didn't really do a good job at establishing her age but I'm just gonna picture Jamie Lee Curtis, maybe a little younger, but still the same vibe. I absolutely adore her character in the latest movie. I think it's so good. And I really like this character in this book because she basically reads like Jamie Lee Curtis. But y'all, okay, so if you don't wanna know anything, skip now. But it's not a spoiler that I'm gonna talk about. It's just there are so many references to horror movies in this book and I'm obsessed. Like, oh my God. It is so good. It is so good. Like, I'm so excited. I'm so mad that I picked this to be my read in the dark book because it's on my Kindle. But I should not have done that because, man, I just want to read it now. Like, right now. I just want to keep reading it. But I can't. So, I'll have to wait until night falls. Although, it is getting dark outside and it looks like it's going to rain. So, if it gets dark enough, I'll just turn off a light or two. I'm the host. I can make these things count. <laughs> I don't care. But anyways, okay, back to past me that I interrupted. Yes. Hi, guys. <laughs> Happy Summerween Day 1. 
<laughs> I am so hyper right now. It's probably the cold brew. I did also get a venti. Well, it's four shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup. That's that's like what I actually ordered. And I just put oat milk in there at home and sugar-free vanilla because if I'm going to be, you know, be downing four shots of espresso, we should probably relax on the sugar too. But I have just downloaded Fire, 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 Fire Fresh, Fire, this is too white. Let's see, this, hello? Good morning, my name is Firekeeper. Okay, so I just downloaded that on Libro, so I will be reading that. Um, let's just take a peek. Yep, oh, 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 it gets worse. Oh, oh, God, oh, oh, no. Oh, no, we can't even look at that door. Yeah, I'm organizing everything and anything that I can get my hands on because energy. I'm not even anxious today, like, wow. Wow. I'm just, I have a lot of energy and I think I am a little nervous for the daily vlogging. A little bit just because I really want it to go well. But the floor people are, well they just came here and got measurements of all of our baseboards. And then they're going to Home Depot. Ooh, let's not look in the hallway where all of the ripped up stuff is. Let's look at the pretty lights. Yes, much better. Um, they are going to Home Depot to get all the floorboards so that they can replace them and paint the wall where there is some water damage. And after that, fingers freaking crossed, we should be good. But what you're resting on, I am turning into my planner central area because I have a lot of ring bound planners. My partner is getting me ooh, a new Aura Estelle planner. It's in the color succulent. It's this gorgeous like it's not lime green and it's not pastel green it legitimately looks like a donkey tail succulent green like it's like if there was a color of baby green like you know baby blue it'd be like baby green but it's a little richer than that and I'm just such a freaking nerd <laughs> and I'm so excited so I wanted to rearrange all my journals and all my good stuff like that get some sticker drawers put up. I might even label my drawers because do I remember what's in all of these? No. And they have this perfect little like dip in them that I could put the label and it would be incognito. Like you wouldn't see it from the outside, but if you're looking, you would see it. I think that would look nice. So I'll show you guys what I end up doing. Cause I had, so the top two drawers on each side are really organized. I'll just show you what I mean by that. So like this drawer up here, completely washy. And then I have this drawer right here, which is all washy as well. And I'm thinking of expanding this empire, but I, not for now. And then here, this is one of my junk drawers, which I need to get over. I just hauled all of these on Patreon so I can put those away. These I'm still organizing in the same way that Samantha Plans and Reads did. So I will link her down below, her Instagram and her YouTube so you can see that because it's literally art. The way she organized her stickers, ugh. Oh, and then we have a nail because naturally. Then I have my printer, which is honestly God tier. But then I have some random stuff. I don't even know what that is. And then down here is just this I've kind of given up on. There's some lights that I bought for bullet journaling. There's a mic. There's this like flexible whatever dude. I don't dog. If I knew the words, I'd tell you the words, but I don't know them. And then we move on this way. And uh, it's a mess. So we have this junk drawer, which granted, it does have a lot of envelopes for Patreon, but I think I could organize this better. And then there's just a bunch of candles right here. So I need to start burning them. So we're gonna, we're gonna find one to use later after this is a thing. This drawer, it may not look like it, it's relatively organized, so I do have this piece of black paper that doesn't fit like on here where I usually put it. But I have all my pen refills. I have some stuff that I've saved from book boxes that I want to put in a journal. I have all my Tombow refills. Scraps, scraps, stickers. So it's actually kind of organized. And then this one I just organized. So I have these tiny baby envelopes that I use for my TBR in my journal. Then I have the boxes for my lenses. I have my lenses. I have this tea towel that is now my lens towel. This is a hole punch. Got some command strips. And then this is some foil stickers. And then here we have a mess. 
and oh look another mess so yeah i just really need to get it together actually let me show you what i'm even talking about here so these are all journals this one actually i'm not currently using anymore so it can move back but this is my life journal right now this is my reading journal and then i have my actual like daily plan bullet journal over there as well and then here are some more ring bound planners stickers are in here random journal and then that's my old memory keeping planners but i don't know where to put those because they have to lay flat or it'll ruin them but like this is an extra memory keeping planner i have this is my one that i'm currently using as my everyday and then this is one that i am planning a halloween setup for when september starts and then there's more washi because there is no such thing as too much washi and i will fight anyone that says otherwise so yeah that's the rundown on what my desk looks like right now it's a mess and really i just need to clean it out because it's trash day tomorrow it'll feel nice to get all of this extra stuff out of here it's just i haven't gone through the drawers in a couple months so i just need to clear it out be honest if i'm going to use stuff or not and do that i feel like i didn't have time to do spring cleaning this year because of school being crazy so it's kind of been pushed back and now we're in july and i'm like cleaning everything because like these shelves are gonna go too it's every everything's going everything's going but aside from that it is nice and rainy outside i am on voxer talking to lexi prince in about uh, two-ish hours hoping the guys are gone if not we'll just push it back an hour but what a long intro. <laughs> okay, so I'm yeah, I'm gonna go organize my life. I will talk to you guys later. Good boy. Okay, hi. So I had to postpone the sprints a little bit because they were still working on everything here at the house and I needed just a little bit more time. So now I've ordered uh, some Chipotle through DoorDash. So that is on the way, thankfully. I am so hungry. But I also just got a message that I had some packages get delivered. So we're gonna go grab that from the mail because we just are but I can't find my umbrella and it's a little sprinkle I didn't like so I'm gonna drive there yeah it's like a two blocks away but I'm still gonna do it because also it's not a block away it's not a block away at all I just have no concept of distance but I'm gonna we're gonna unbox it once I get back one moment I heard the distress calls for two 15 and 16 year old boys to react that way Ben, be quiet. Okay, hi. So, I'm Bayek, and I have the candles that I was talking about. Oh, I'm like a floating head. Nope, we're gonna sit on my leg, because the floating head looks redonk. Hello? Do you want to focus on me? Over here? Kind of rude, but okay. So, I got three candles from Novel Wicks, who I'm obsessed with. I am a rep for. If you want to check them out, they just put out a bunch of spooky scents. I just bought some of those. But let's just talk about... Let me show you the two sizes actually because she has two different ones you can choose. So this one is the four ounce I want to say and then this is the eight ounce so that's like the little difference. There I got the eight ounce for everything because there's a woodwick and I've liked every scent. So this is one that I've had but I've really liked it so I wanted to show you guys. It's I hope it's focusing. <laughs> also my nail popped off. How spooky is that? Okay, so then this week I ordered Mr. Darcy and this one, I've already smelled it, it smells amazing. It looks like a very pumpkin-y Halloween one, but it doesn't smell like pumpkin-y Halloween. It does a little bit. It smells a little like fall, but not as fall as this one that I got. So the next one I have is Elizabeth Bennet, of course. This one is a nice, beautiful, like mauve, almost rosy color. It smells so good. It's very sweet. And then the last one I got, which is my favorite one, and I'm probably going to go back and order more, um, is Horror. And this is, y'all, first of all, it's beautiful. It's perfect, but it it smells... So it says it's spice cider and chestnut. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't, I, don't, I don't know, I don't even know. But it smells like Bath and Body Works Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. 
that's what it smells like. That's my favorite one and I can't get it right now. And honestly, I like this packaging and I like supporting small businesses better anyways and it's a way better deal too. So I'm just, I'm so happy right now. So I have some Halloween ambiance pulled up. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm gonna light this horror candle after I eat Chipotle obviously. And then we're gonna start sprints like two and I am very excited for that because it's time to read. I got a lot to read and guys, so I was going through my summer ween TBR that I wrote on my phone. Y'all, I did not choose Final Girls as the read at night. I chose the Burning Girls to read at night because there's the exorcism thing and that sounds scary, which yeah, hello, that does. So I wanted to like scare myself as much as possible, which means I can read final girl support group during these sprints and I am so happy. I did not start Firekeeper's Daughter yet like I thought I would while I was cleaning because honestly I got a little too stressed. Are we good? Are we good? Sorry I had to clear some storage so I could ramble a little more but I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh I get stressed when people are in my house that aren't like guests because guests I know what to do but when there's other people I'm like do y'all want snacks? Do you want water? I have a mini fridge that just turned on at the thought of it, so. I meant more of like the Beauty and the Beast, but it came out weird. So anyways, I am going to get on getting everything done, checking on this plant because she looks like she is struggling. And then, oh, I'll feed Ginger because she just emerged from her nap. And then we're gonna sprint. And that's the plan. Let's, let's go do that, shall we? We shall. Okay, so we're in our first sprint, and I know I just showed you this, but I still want to show you how cute this ASMR room is. I'm obsessed. I will link it down below in case you guys want to use it for the next couple days, but it's really calming. Just kind of like a, a little bit of a spooky vibe if you are looking for that. And then also I wanted to show you my official Summerween journal page, and we are on coffee number two at this point. Who knows how many we will have this week? I couldn't tell you. Macmillan Audio presents Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully. Read by Isabella Starr LeBlanc. Okay, hi friends. So, um, they are mowing outside, so sorry if you can hear that, but I need to record this because I got thoughts and I want to try to update as I'm reading because I haven't been the best at that lately, but I think daily vlogs are like a really good opportunity to practice that more, so I'm trying. Um, I am on chapter 13 of Firekeeper's Daughter and I am really liking this. I was just saying on sprints that it was a little slow. I was on page 80, nothing had happened literally spoke too soon 10 pages later um the entire like plot that you know is on the inside of the dust cover um started so basically what's happening is we have our main character she witnesses a murder like, right in front of her it's very awful so content warning for homicide and the other one you know unaliving uh very not it's not very graphic but it's just very abrupt so it is on page not super graphic 
just to clarify. We just witnessed that and so now she is kind of being let in on who the new guy really is, the investigation that's going on, and what the FBI thinks is happening. Um, I can't tell if it's just in the town or on the reservation specifically, I can't remember right now, but I decided to listen to the audiobook while following along in the physical copy because I like to listen to the audiobook when there are words that I am not familiar with, which this is chock full of them. And I also need to actually see the word because I can hear it and I understand how it's pronounced, but if I don't see the word as well, then I won't put two and two together. And like when I see the word the next time, I'll seriously forget exactly how the narrator said it. I don't, I don't know if that's weird or not just how my brain's been working for uh, almost 26 years. I'm really liking this. We're starting to get into it. It's page 112. So it is almost 500 pages. Makes sense to give it about 100 to really start rolling. So it's about on track pacing wise. No complaints there. I'm interested to see where it's going. I don't, I mean, I'm not finishing any book today. I'm definitely not finishing this one today. Uh, hopefully tomorrow it'll start looking up. I'm thinking about adding in a couple of graphic novel rereads just in between because I picked a lot of heavy books. <laughs> I did not realize that. So that might be a thing. We'll just have to see. But if I don't update again after this, thank you so much for watching, but I'm gonna update probably one more time, but just in case technically I close it out. And the emoji of like every vlog, we're gonna do pumpkins and ghosts because I love those freaking emojis so much and it's it's time, it's that time. But I'll see you for one last update for a final closing out session after I get some more reading done and we finish up these sprints in like probably two hours or so. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby, don't you understand? Yeah, we only get one life on one. Okay, I feel like I've been at this desk all day and it's because, oh, what? I have, but honestly, it's been such a productive reading day. Y'all, I am in such a good mood. I'm gonna get sappy for a minute, so skip if you don't care, but I cannot believe how many people are participating in Summerween. Like, I am so overwhelmed in like the best way possible. Like, I feel like I am talking to so many people, connecting with so many people, we're just having a good spooky time. And it's just like, I just thank you. Thank you to everyone who's participating. It's literally like a birthday present to me of just like community and having fun and reading scary stuff. And it just means like a lot to have this community. And I'm just thankful. And I wanted to say that, but I won't keep going because it's lame to talk about feelings. So. My therapist would be so mad to hear me say that, but I'll see her Monday. We'll talk about that then. But I wanted to show you the bookmark that I'm using for today's read, if it will focus. Hello. Um, I can't remember where I got this, but I will try to look into that. But I got to page 160 of Firekeeper's Daughter, and then I am going to read some more of... The final girl support group tonight but i'm gonna close the vlog out here just because it is already eight and we need to eat dinner and i need to edit this vlog and get the thumbnail and everything done so i'm gonna go do that but i am just having like the best time and i'm really excited for tomorrow because partner is just sending me a bunch of tiktoks I'm really excited for tomorrow because my dad texted me today and so we're gonna go get brunch tomorrow and I'm excited for that. The place that we're going to has pumpkin pancakes. So that might be in my future. Chocolate chip pumpkin pancakes can't be topped. I am really excited for that. I have not got to like hang out with him and I mean over a year obviously because of COVID and stuff. So I'm just excited and sometimes he watches my videos. I don't know if he still does but dad if you're watching, hey love you the most thanks for having me and stuff but uh yeah emoji of the day remember pumpkins ghosts
gonna be the usual. I'll say it every time in case. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful and spooky night. M morning, night, afternoon. I tried to change it up and it went bad. But uh, wherever you are, hope you're having a good spooky time. If you want to, if you don't like the spooky stuff, I understand. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you in the comments down below and in the next day's vlog video. <laughs> Bye! I met an old man. I said, tell me your story. He took out an old pen. Wrote something for me